Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Thursday, February the 25th. It's the second week in Lent, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 71, and Mark chapter 4, verse 21 to 34. And please join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before our songs of joy we sing you. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. In you, O God Most High, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Psalm 71, and please recite it with me. In you, O God Most High, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. You are my strong castle, where I may seek refuge. You have given a commandment to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hands of the wicked, from the hand of the unrighteous and the cruel. For you are my hope, O sovereign God. I have trusted in you since my youth. You have held me up since my birth. You took me out of my mother's womb. I shall always praise you. I am a wonder to many, but you are my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with your praise and with your honor all the day. Do not cast me off in my old age. Do not forsake me when my strength fails, for my enemies speak against me and plot together to take my life. They say God has forgotten him. Pursue and seize him. For there is none to save. O oh God, come to my assistance. O oh my God, make haste to help me. Let them be shamed and disgraced that are adversaries to my life. Let them be covered with reproach and scorn that seek my hurt. But I will always hope and will praise you more and more. My mouth shall tell of your mighty acts and your salvation all the day, though I do not know the number of them. I will begin with your strength. I will tell of your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth, and I have declared your wondrous works. Now that I am old and gray-headed, O oh God, do not forsake me, until I have shown your strength to this generation and your power to everyone that is to come. Your righteousness reaches the heavens, and you have done great things. O oh God, who is like you? You have shown me great troubles. You shall revive me again and bring me up again from the depths of the earth. You shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. I will praise you with the psaltery for your faithfulness, O oh my God. To you I sing with the harp, to you the Holy One of Israel. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing to you, and my soul which you have redeemed. My tongue shall talk of your righteousness all the day long, for they are disgraced and brought to shame that seek my harm. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. In you, O God Most High, I put my trust, let me never be ashamed. A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 4, beginning at verse 21. Jesus said to them, Is a lamp brought in to be put under the bushel basket or under the bed, and not on the lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be disclosed, nor is anything secret except to come to light. Let anyone with ears to hear listen. 
And he said to them, pay attention to what you hear. The measure you give will be the measure you get. And still more will be given you. For those who have, who have more will be given. And from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. And Jesus also said, the kingdom of God is as if someone would scatter seed on the ground and would sleep and rise night and day. And the seed would sprout and grow. He does not know how. The earth produces of itself first the stalk, then the head, and then the full grain in the head. But when the grain is ripe, at once he goes in with his sickle, because the harvest has come. Jesus said, With what can we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable will we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, which, when sown upon the ground, is smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs, and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nests in its shade. <clears throat> With many such parables, Jesus spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them except in parables, but he explained everything in private to his disciples. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world, and please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray, hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Joe and Bill, and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barak and Joe and Paul, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. That God, who has begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who have asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. We pray, hear us, tender God. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Strengthen us, O God, by your grace, that in your might we may overcome all spiritual enemies and with pure hearts serve you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.